Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and yet another collage. And this one is of a grandson from ever so long ago. <laughs> I think he was only four when I took this photo. Sometimes you come across old photos and you think, oh, those kids were so cute. And you just have to draw them. What can I say? And so I'm starting with the background. Now in this case, he was wearing a plaid shirt and a plaid hat that had um, a really sweet pattern of red and black. And I found doing that pattern was really difficult in collage. And I love a challenge, um, but in the end I gave up on doing the plaid on the shirt. I just made it a solid color because it was so much trouble um, on the hat. And still it didn't turn out the way I would have liked. So there's that. Also, I was having trouble with my uh, camera again this week. <laughs> it just kept turning itself off even though the battery was charged and everything was good. Sometimes I'm dealing a lot with just techno problems. <laughs> And, you know, I don't have to be videotaping while I'm working, but I find that a lot of people are interested, and certainly I love to see how it turns out in the video, so, yeah, I fought with it. <laughs> Part of the fun is adding some words and some pictures that work, and so I go looking through my files, which sometimes takes a little time, Finding just the right pictures, you'll see that later in the hair, um, I added the face of a giraffe. And I think I added a girl um, holding a cat. Uh, it's not on there yet, but I will in a, in a minute, obviously. And a few words that are just fun and the colors fit. Actually, as a summer is here, I like words that relate to the summer in this area. You know, month words, I think I put August in there somewhere, and um, smoke, because we get a lot of fires in this area. Not that the boy is smoking, <laughs> but the area and the time of year is smoky. And you can see in between putting pieces on, I'll spend time just cutting things and finding just the right color. I had to cut those itty bitty eyelashes. That took a little while. Now you can't see what he's doing. He's looking down. <clears throat> In this particular visit, he, um, I, we went to the the little man-made lake at the park. And there are always geese floating around in the pond. And I brought an old, slightly old, slightly dried um, loaf of white bread for him to tear up and throw to the geese. And that's what he's looking down at. He's actually pulling out pieces of bread and throwing them to the geese, which was a lot of fun. Whew. 
who doesn't like to, you know, feed the animals? The problem is well, when you're all done and there's no more bread, the geese are after you. <laughs> So you can see now I'm starting to put in the colors for the plaid and this is the part that starts taking some time <clears throat> where the light is shining at the top of his hat cap the red was more of a light kind of an orangey red And down near the um, lower part of the cap, the main white is more of a muted white. So I used tan, I used a little blue, I used a very soft, a very soft gray. And the red, I think, <laughs> started getting too bright, too hard, but oh well. <laughs> See, there's the gray. Things have really heated up around here. Um, we've had triple digit days for the past um, three weeks. I think it got up to 109 at one point. And it'll probably get up to 114 before the summer's over, but so far it hasn't been quite that hot. Thank goodness. <laughs> When it gets like that, I stay inside. I mean, there's nothing I can do outside that um, that's constructive. It's um, it's too dangerous actually to be out when when the weather gets that hot. And my garden doesn't do so well in the heat either. It starts to look really ragged. Now you see, I put the black streaks um, pattern on the top and because I had already put a lighter color for the uh, red, I should have put a lighter color for the black, like a gray or even um, a, a dark blue would have been better. But I think the black was too harsh across the top of his cap. And that's probably because I was getting a little antsy wanting to finish this collage, just get it done. It was taking too long. And sometimes that happens. In the meantime, you can see my fingernail polish has changed color. <laughs> I mean, I, I try to do my nails um, well, once a week. So it's been that long already working on this particular collage. At one point, I also ran out of rubber cement and had to wait a couple of days to go and buy some more. That happens. The rubber cement is the best glue to use because it won't make the paper 
um, buckle and wrinkle. You want your paper to be nice and flat in the end. And so here it is, finally done. You can see I've got a little doggy there on the left hand side and a few words and a little pink on his cheeks. It's got a shadow cast from the cap. And solid color for his shirt. What can I say? It was just too hard to do plaid. Well, that's it for another collage. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate all of you. If you would just give me a thumbs up if you liked this and maybe even leave me a comment about something you'd like to see in the future. I'd really appreciate it. Bye everyone. I'll see you next time.